Granny was spirit. Spirit, spirit, spirit. Granny instilled in me a sense of importance of going to school, getting my education, and she gave me that rock that I was able to lean on. She's my inspiration. She was the reason I grew up, I think, as well as I did, and I love you, Granny, for that. On our campus in 1966, a determined 50-year-old woman set out to continue a college education, cut short over three decades earlier by the Great Depression. Sophomore Dorothea Dottie Heights was determined to fully embrace the college experience. There was a day students were gathered at the tub. They were asking, what can we do to incite better school spirit here at San Fernando Valley State? And there was a young man in the back of the hall who said, well, let Granny do it. And so Dottie Heights, at that point, her name became Granny. Granny set out to form a spirit squad. Adorned in bright red outfits, the Granny girls became unofficial campus ambassadors. Granny came to cheerleading tryouts and saw all the girls that didn't make cheerleader. And she said, there's just too many of you, and you have too much talent, and I'm going to put you together and start Granny Girls. So she gathered us together and decided that we would scandalize the football games by ripping off our skirts, which made a real big impression on our very first game. At university events, banquets, and athletic games, one could expect to see Granny wearing one of her famous hats, but rarely the same one. She had over 500 in her collection. With her red wagon in tow, filled with streamers, toys, and candy, Granny would spread goodwill to kids of all ages. She took great pride in her role as the eternal sweetheart of Sigma Chi. Granny was always proud to claim this university as her school. And she wore it on her sleeves wherever she went. Over the years, Granny volunteered her time with the Woodland Hills Women's Club, Woodland Hills Golden Age Club, March of Dimes, Valley Cultural Center, San Fernando Valley Alpha Phi alumni, and as a teacher and lecturer. She built a career as one of the nation's most respected parliamentarians and was recognized by the United States Congress and the California Legislature. Her associations with organizations, causes, and people were simply the outcomes of what was most important to her, being joyful, seeing life as an adventure, and surrounding herself with others with kind hearts and good intent. In 2005, Granny and many others made initial contributions to create the Granny Heights Legacy Scholarship, a $1,500 competitive selection award limited to the sons and daughters of CSUN alumni. In August 2007, Granny passed away at age 93. I have to say I so miss Granny, and I think all of us do. She was a symbol of CSUN for all the years that I was there. And Granny, we still think of you. Although we miss Granny, her spirit continues to live here on this campus. I, for one, am very proud that the Dorothea Heights Award for Outstanding Volunteer Leadership is named in her honor. Granny's vision for Cal State Northridge is still alive, and as she would say herself, we all better be ready to do our part. <laughs>